So pretty much I'm getting ready to go catch some bullheads. Uh, so what I got on this pole is just a hook. Just a hook. Then on this pole, I got a weight and a hook. These poles from what what y'all seen over the couple of days I was catching bluegills with, they break real easy. So I'm gonna take it easy, keep some drag out. Cause the other pole I got snapped like right here. Not oh, like right here, it snapped from a bluegill. These ain't really tough poles. So, yeah. Let me see how much they I got a uh, heavy test line on that though, Lou. This is a brand. I'm trying to see if they say like, okay, right here. I'm put it down. So, I think I got um thirty pound test line on there. So like if I catch a little fish and a big fish, try to grab it, I'm really hammering too. So yeah, this originally had a two to six pound line on it, but I upgraded it to 30. I just had this sitting in the house, so I'm like, let me just put this line on there. So that's what I did. But yeah, really, really weak pole, weak. Gotta catch really. So like I was saying in the house, this is the pole right here. So right now, let me turn this off. All right, so pretty much right now, I'm headed out to catch bullheads. And I'm doing a how to catch bullhead video. Cause I was looking on YouTube and I'm like, why is nobody making no good videos? Like I'm so good at what I do. When I go out and put my mind to something, I get them. I get them. Like, like I'm not gonna catch one, two. No, I'm gonna catch a whole bunch. So this is gonna be a real good video for whoever trying to catch bullheads and don't know how to. Really, really easy. So I'm headed to the location right now. All right, so pretty much um, on another note, what type of catfishes do we have in Wisconsin? So we have bullheads, it's the smallest species of catfish that we have in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Um, then it's channel catfish, the second biggest. And then it's flathead, and they get really big, up to 100 pounds. So you're going for the smaller species and bullhead is the most goodest, I don't even know if that's a word, but the greatest bait for flathead catfish, a live bullhead. So I might keep some and um, go catch some bullheads, uh, catch some flathead with them eventually, but we probably just do like a how-to video today. But.
It sounds like the one dinosaurs from back in the day. a minute made it check it out before we get baited up i don't know if i got something to scoop this stuff off let me find a stick or something get this poop off uh, what's over here nothing what's stick uh, it's a probably work Step in this. And that's how you clear a dock, folks. So now I need both of these buckets, cut the bait, and uh, I got some pops in there. It's like my cooler. I'll show you guys real quick. My cooler got ice. Got my worms right here. Got some pop. Stay hydrated. All right, so we just need the bucket and then the fishing pole. So this is a night crawler. I'm just gonna grab a piece of this. I'm gonna leave him out. Put the rest of them back into the cooler because it's pretty warm. So we caught one. Eric caught the first one. We're gonna see if we can catch this on film. Cause he literally just got here. I have my poles in the water and he just threw his out there first cast. Right when the camera go off and shit. Damn. Yeah. One time we did get a big one out of here. But that's a good side. So booyaka booyaka. So pretty much the results is in the pudding. So look, you wanna explain to them how to do it real quick? Like yeah, man, so with these little bull heads, basically you just get a little worm. You need leaf worm, Canadian crawler, regular crawler. Put it on there. Pop it out there, just right there. You got you another little bull head. It's gonna make for a nice catfish bait. All right, so would you re recommend them to do it at night? They, 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 they ain't gonna be able to fish like us because we just out here good, that good. But would you recommend nighttime or like? Yeah, when? I would recommend if you're not the avid fisherman going at nighttime. And I'm not 
just trying to sit up here and say I'm the most average fisherman, but the, the truth is in the pudding. Goddamn, yep. look in the bucket. And we got one on this one, so uh, he let it go. But uh, I think. Catfish, bait flathead, bait channel, cat bait, whatever you want to call it. You can even get northern on these things. Muskies and everything. Yes, sir. Then we got one right here. Yep. Got them in the boat, boys. All right. And then another thing. You don't want to get poked by the side gills right no uh what they call uh it's uh i forgot anyway you don't want to get poked by them fins right there yeah the all three of them so one the, the top <laughs> and then the side yeah so the top fin, the sides and you want to wear gloves. That's all you need to do. This, this is literally all you need to know to catch bullheads. Wear some gloves. Get a decent sized hook that you can get out of his mouth. Um, we just catching little ones because we using them for bullhead bait. That one is uh, super little. That came out the gill. <laughs> but yeah, we came out for bullhead and we got bullhead. Got a turtle over here. I think I got a fish on. I'm just gonna pull up. Yeah, we got one. Uh, he got off. My bad, Eric. <laughs> uh, yeah, the turtle that dug down. He finna come back up. There you go, right there. You get close enough, I'm gonna show y'all how to get a turtle. Once they head go into the water, you can just grab them. We was catching bullheads, we still is, but um, Eric was uh, reeling in his uh, pole, and then uh, he threw it back out there, and then they jumped on the worm. Look what he got. He's trying to demonstrate how hard they bite is. Oh, man. But he got a big snapper. So I can let you go. So one of these days, Okay, down walk south, off. buddies, I'm gonna do a catching crew. They down there, snapping turtles, soul shield turtles, all kinds of turtles. I want to see how he walking. You see how he lifting his body? That's crazy. He on his way back towards the water. That's what I didn't call it on a little small hook. The smallest of the smallest hooks. Man, he looked like my cousin Kelwana. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, need them flatheads, right? Yes, sir. Uh, fuck around, go to a flathead spot in a minute. Well, he ended up grabbing my worm and then he grabbed his worm, or well, these females. You can tell by the tail, so small. And then the males got longer claws. They know how to run real fast. Whoa, whoa. These are the bullheads we got. I gotta pour them out to get them in the water. Uh, we, we just gonna um, finish finish up these worms and then we out of here. We're gonna go catch some big old catfish now.
He was running though. He's doing this thing. One right out there. Good luck. Um, shit, I say we just.
All right, so we we came out, we got the bull heads, so we had a good time. Now we heading out. Got all our surprise. Yep. Keep uh, keep watching the channel and see what happens. So here's the big tank. These are all the bull heads we caught. Just bubblers in there. Well, a sponge filter and then a uh, bubbler. And they all just chilling right there at the bottom. Now I got like a palm pump right there. Hooked up. Got a lot of filtration. So they'll stay alive until we use them. I got my mom's right here. She look like she hungry. We want to bite one. What you think about it? Touch it. You wanna touch it? Touch it. Hey girl. Touch it. Big girl. Big girl. Dad, 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 d